Hey guys, it's the Battle Productions, and welcome to episode of Pokemon Mega Ruby. In the last episode, what we did is we went through a lot of route, water routes, and we faced a lot of trainers in order to get nine tails up a few levels. And in this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving on in the story. So now we're going to be taking on the gym. Okay, so in the gym, there's going to be a, the same typical puzzle from the original games, but what I'm going to be doing is that I will be um, trying to skip as many trainers as possible by just doing the puzzle right. So... If I am doing this right, it seems like I am. Um, oh shoot, no, uh-oh. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, okay. I screwed that up and I had it completely correct. I just went one step too far and it screwed me up. Okay, well, let's just take on this trainer here and yeah, we'll get back up there. So let's see what she has, Golduck. Really not that, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I mean, this gym really does penalize you. If you do screw up the puzzle, you're going to have to face a lot of trainers later on. Luckily, I only screwed up the first one, and hopefully I don't screw up any of the other ones. But I, I basically had it down. It was just that, I don't know, I just, you know, just took one too many steps, and you just have to be really careful. But anyways, looks like Tiffany's not going to be that big of a problem, so we'll just finish her off real quickly. That should finish it off no matter what. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. The only thing I've been worried about is Water Spout, but it really... I mean, I'm resistant, quite a bit higher leveled. It probably wouldn't have done that much, but we defeat Tiffany. Well, excuse me. Why did I talk like an older lady for a second there? I have no idea. So, let's just head... Okay, that was another trainer there I almost ran into. That would have not been good. I really don't want to face her, so let's see. Let's do this again now. So, I have to go like this, go like this, like this, like this, and now like that and come down like that there we go didn't take the wrong step there that was good okay now it's time for the next puzzle so what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna actually need to come this way and do this if I'm correct um oh shoot did I go the wrong one mm. no I'm fine I'm fine okay so now I just Okay, that's not too big of... That's not that hard of a puzzle. Just do that, come around. And there we go, we got that one done. So now the last one is definitely the hardest one. It, it, this one, you have to make sure that you are on all the way to the left here. Oh boy, this one gives me headaches. Um, let's see, go like this, like this, like this. Um... Yeah, it looks like I'm doing it good so far. Um, okay. Now go like that. And three step. Okay, now this. 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 Okay, now. Oh, shoot, trainer. Okay. So, yes, you can step on those brown uh, slabs or whatever you call those things. It's a... Uh, I don't know what you call that, a brown platform, I guess. You can go on that, it does make it a lot easier. I don't know about this one, but the other one, it makes it a, a lot easier. So, yeah, I didn't want to use it on the second one. I'm going to have to use it on this one, otherwise it's not even physically possible to, to actually do anything on this puzzle. And, um, yeah, I've done it before. Without the platform, it's pretty annoying. It took me a bunch of tries to do it, but I got it. But I don't want to do that, and yeah, um, I think that I have to go down right here, yes, and okay, now I have to be really careful. Okay, so far so good. I'm really trying to concentrate here, which is why that I'm really quiet. Oh shoot, okay, go like this, like this, like this. Like this, like this. Oh man, did I just mess up? No, wait, no, I didn't. I didn't. It's fine. I'm fine. Okay, so just go like that. That. No, I didn't screw up there. I'm fine. Now I have to come over here and do that and then that. And yes, I did it. First try. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. That would have. If I. Ugh, man. I can't believe I still remembered how to do that. Now I have to pull up walls and stuff here. 
Okay, um, record, okay, Bulbapedia, got it. Okay, so now I have his information for the fight. Okay, allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Wallace, the gym leader of Sutopolis City. There's something about you, a difference in your demeanor. I think I sense that in you. What happened inside the Cave of Origin and what you did there? Our upcoming battle make it th will make it clear. Now show me, show me the power you wield with your Pokémon. And I, in turn, will shall present you with a performance of illusions in water. By me and my Pokémon. Oh boy, here we go, Wallace, the 8th Gym Leader, the final one in the game. He has five Pokemon. His first one's Love Disc, level 44. It's a water type with the ability Swift Swim. Its moose set is Draining Kiss, Attract, Sweet Kiss, and Water Pulse. This thing is just there to annoy you with Draining Kiss, Attract, and Sweet Kiss. Now, since my uh, Pinocchio is a female, it will not get a hit. It won't work if with Attract. Now, let's add a guy Pokemon out there, and it went for Attract. It would, I would get you know, infatuated, and that would get really annoying real quickly. So, I'm just going to go for the the Leaf Blade, and that should be more than enough to finish it off, because Love Disk is not a powerful Pokemon at all. In fact, it's one of the worst in the game. So, the only thing that's useful about this, that you actually can steal heart skills from it once you find the area that has uh, Love Disk, and I believe that's near Evergrande City, which we did come across in that grinding video facing all those trainers and okay now he's sending out his ace my low tick my low tick all 46 it's a water type with the ability marvel scale it's moose sets hydro pump recover ice beam and disarming voice so basically this thing is a great counter against grass types it has a lot of hp a lot of special defense and most uh grass types won't be able to do a thing to this thing and it'll just do an ice beam and basically take down pinocchio or at least or any grass type pokemon and it has quite a bit of special attack too, so this thing is just amazing. The only problem is, is that it's hard to get this Pokemon. You have to get a Feebas, get its... I think you had to get its beauty level high using contests. I'm not, that was in the old game, I don't know how you get it in the future games. Maybe it's the same way in this game. I have no idea. But, if you can get to that Milotic, holy cow, this thing is a great Pokemon. I've never used one before, because I've never... Well, I've caught a Feebas before, but I've never trained it, so it would evolve into a Milotic. And I wish I've done that sometime. I may have to do that on my own time sometime. And I don't know why I said sometime, time, I don't know. I, I said a lot there. said a lot of times there. So we'll just go for Leaf Blade. And hopefully we can finish this thing off. Okay, we do. Critical hit too. Because of the large amount of HP, I was thinking maybe it would live. And the critical hit definitely um, made it a 100% chance of taking it out. So Celio. Level 44, Ice and Water type has the ability Thick Fat, has the moveset Encore, Waterfall, Aura Beam, and Body Slam. So we'll just go for the Leaf Blade. And that should finish it off there. So now he has two Pokemon left. One of them's really good, one's not that great. Okay, so it's not the one that's not really that great. And that is Sea King level 44, it's a Water type with the ability Swift Swim. Its moveset's Waterfall, Rain Dance, Aqua Ring, and Horn Drill. For not being that strong of a Pokemon, it definitely does have quite a bit of an advantage here. I mean, in 3rd gen it wasn't really that great, but in 6th gen here it's a little bit better because of the, sp the physical special split. And yeah, it's a physical attacker, which a uh, physical attacking water type really wasn't that powerful a long time, which even a long time ago, which even made Fralligator quite a bit weak in 2nd gen. But what this thing's going to do is go for Rain Dance, and then Swift Swim will activate and becomes really fast, and then it will try to take you out with Waterfall or Horn Drill. Horn Drill is a, is a 1 KO move, 1 hit KO move actually, and it it's very inaccurate, but I've seen it work before, and that, it's stupid. But anyways, I'm going to go for Leaf Blade, and I think I'll finish it off here. I do. Now it's time for his last Pokemon, which is good against Pinocchio, but it's a I mean, it's not, I mean, it's good for me, because I'm Whiskash, because it is a ground and water type. It's level 44, has the ability Oblivious, it's move sets Earthquake, Zen Headbutt, Waterfall, and Mud Sport. If I did not have Pinocchio in this fight, this would definitely be a challenge. I mean, also my levels are high too, so it really wouldn't matter, but any other person that did not use the experience share throughout this challenge, or at least this Let's Play, or their own playthrough, it definitely, it's quite a... Pokemon, it's quite a hard Pokemon to face. Bravo! I realize now you auth your authentic 
uh, authenticity in magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find so much joy in having met you and your Pokemon. You are proven worthy of this rain badge. Okay, accept it. Having that badge ass assures your full obedience of all your Pokemon to every command you make. Okay, now we got the rain badge. Boom! That's pretty awesome. And so you never forget the battle we shared. Here. And we get H105 Waterfall. It's pretty nice they give it they give it to you here instead of in the old games you had to get it through the uh Cave of Origins, and there's people, a ton of people that would just skip past it without even seeing it. And yeah, having a waterfall here is pretty nice. Many paths are open to you now. One path will take you to the Pokemon League, and is the goal that all trainers in Hoenn aspire to reach after obtaining all eight badges. If that is the path you chose, then you must find your way to the island said to be the most remote in Hoenn, Evergrande, which I have already been there. But of course other people call it, I call it Evergrande, but there's a lot of people that call it uh, Evergrande City. But yeah, I, I like to call it Evergrande, if I didn't mention that before. But it's a different path you seek, and you'd rather pursue Pokemon in a complete Pokedex. The rumors that reach me of the wind whisper that Professor Birch and Little Root has created a more powerful Pokedex. Visit him, obtain his new te technology, and I have little doubt you'll encounter more device po diverse Pokemon than before. I hope that a bright future awaits for you, w w whatever path it is you choose. Okay. So that is it. And of course, now that we beat the gym leader, of course we can run on this and it won't fall apart. Which I find pretty convenient, but yet again, why couldn't we do that before? <laughs> what, do we, like, levitate over the uh, the broken paths there? Yeah, whatever. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to fly to Little Root because we're going to go talk to Birch. Apparently he has a more powerful Pokedex for us. And plus we do have an Everstone we need to pick up there, which I never picked up in the first place. So we'll do that also. Okay, so, I believe there was a Mega Stone right here. It is a Mewtwoite X. Alright. So let's go talk to Birch here. Welcome back, Michael. You must be tired of all your recent exploits. May have been keeping me updated about all your grand adventures around Hoenn. So, yes, um... Long research, and there's Pokemon he's ever seen before. And, okay, let me upgrade your Pokedex. Now we got the National Dex. So, people Pokemon Nature, the balance between these three great ecosystems have shifted greatly. I can't wait for you to start exploring this new world. Exploration may help us learn how best to coexist with Pokemon from this time forward. I hope you find your own answers to this great question, question as you continue your journey with your Pokedex. Okay, so I guess we'll look at the Pokedex now, since we do have the National Pokedex. So, yes, we have the Hall Pokedex here, and then we have the National Pokedex. So, yeah, and also on the top screen there, it's quite interesting how they do this. They actually, um, it, sh it has, like, a list of all the Pokemon there. Kind of like a list, which is pretty cool. And then there's all the Hoenn Pokemon. And now there's other Pokemon here, but the only Pokemon we've seen that's in the National deck so far is Budu, and I don't remember where we came across Budu. That's kind of weird, but whatever. That's fun. Seriously, I don't remember where we came across Budu. Ah, whatever, it's fine. So now, let's access our Eon Flute here, and we're gonna head towards the Pokemon League, because we did go on the route that, um, that, uh, was connected to Evergrande City. Yeah, I'm saying both terms there, just to make sure I don't confuse other people. But, yeah, you can actually f soar and then land, with, like, um in routes, which is actually pretty cool. So like right here it says Route 131, well I don't want to go there. Let's just, um, I don't think, yeah, it doesn't let us go there quite yet, which doesn't make any sense. You'd think that we'd be able to, but let's see, where is Route 129? Can't find it. Um, there we go, Route, oh, come on! Where's Route 129? Oh, okay, be real picky, why don't you? There we go. So now we'll soar down. There we go. So yeah, here's those guys there. I end up not facing one of them because yeah, I I was so fed up with with facing all those trainers. But whatever. Let's just head over to 
the route, which is up here. But of course, there's a wild encounter. A Pelipper, great. I was hoping I wouldn't need to use a repel. But, whatever. Got away safely. So let's just head over this way. And welcome back to Evergrande City. So, I'm going to be teaching Swampert Waterfall here, not only because I need it, but it's a good item for, uh, well, it's a good move for Swampert in this game, at least. In the old games, it really wasn't that good, but because Swampert has a lot of physical attack, it does benefit a lot when you do have a physical attacking move. As you can tell, this is 80 power versus Skull, which can give you burn, but you're going to have more attack, which means I'll do more damage. So, we'll get rid of Scald and learn Waterfall. I may get rid of it later, but... Still, it's, a, it's not too bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we're good there. So let's head over. So now here's the big waterfall that you saw for at least probably half a second. Yeah, these people are like, Oh, I, don't, I can't get up there because I don't have waterfall. Well, well, watch and learn. I have waterfall. If they miss it, then it's their loss. Look at that. They're probably thinking, well, how do I get their Pokemon to do that? Oh, of course, I'm like two steps away from getting on land there. And that has to happen. Okay, well, Tentacruel appeared. Pinocchio, go! We will run, because we do not want to face any wild Pokemon. And now, we have made it. Now, up there is Victory Road. We don't have that much left until the after game, or even the Elite Four. It's just the Victory Road, Elite Four, and then it's the after game. So, can't believe we got this far. It's, it feels pretty awesome. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, or comment, subscribe, share your inbox, and see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Omega Ruby.